thanks to glorious German engineering. See, that's what I thought I wouldn't be able to remember. But, but, what I would really need and would insist on is a wooden rack along here with um, lots of small shelves yeah. with um, everything in these who could break it down into the individual shots and you put your shots here and so you wouldn't go to the trim bin when you needed a new shot. When you came to a particular sequence the editor and you would know what shots were in that particular sequence. She or he would break it down into those individual shots, not into individual takes, individual well, shots. Well, on a documentary, which I think this is, isn't it? Yes. You would actually break them down into the sections for the documentary. Yes. So you'd have your interviews and then you'd have your cutaways labelled appropriately for that. That's, that's right. Well, that's after, because the first thing the assistant has to do is sync up. Yes. Yeah, so your rushes come in and they're completely separate, aren't they? Um, and you have to marry um, the sound to the picture and you use the clapperboard which I assumed you used at the start of this this particular thing because everyone still uses it because it's a good discipline to get everybody to pay attention and know that you're filming but in our day it was crucial it was the only way of ensuring that the sound could marry to the picture otherwise you had to do it all you'd have to lip sync which is just fiendish and I used to sync up on one of these I used to sync up on a pixie not a double header I have nothing as posh as that but you used to be able to sync up on a double on a single um, and you'd actually flip it in, you'd mark a cross, and then you'd pull that out, you'd whisk down, and you'd find on the sound the clap, and it was the first mod of the clap, and then you'd mark the cross, you'd slot the two in, um, and then you'd carry on, and then, oh, see, I'm trying to remember now, you couldn't cut, that's what I remember, you could never cut on this side of the pit sink, you could only ever cut on that side of the pit sink. So if there was a gap, you'd have to cut the gap out, vaguely remember it um, but if you cut on that side and, and late at night if you were doing stuff you sometimes got a bit confused then that would go out of sync your actual spools would go out of sync which is like the worst thing you could do well it's a six plate steam deck yeah. it's running two soundtracks um, so you would perhaps be running a speech track and a music track um, and, and the picture What's really tricky? What? what? The mechanics of where you stop and mark. What do you mean? No, I'm trying to think. I know where it now. God, this is torture. This is. I know where. I know where it actually goes out of sync. Yeah, yeah. But of course, yeah. I don't. I should have marked that, shouldn't I? So you should have marked. And that's what I forgot to do. You didn't. Do yeah, I did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So now, that I'm, fine, fine brain has turned yes, to Yes, well, it has where this is Jen. concerned. I can't, I can't work out. The, oh, hang on. So, hang on a minute. This is the, no, now I'll have a guide me through this, because this is the point where it goes out of sync, all right? Right, it goes out of sync here. Well, so okay. that's the last in sync point, 80. Well, put a, put a mark on. So let me find... When you moved it. I know, I didn't... Oh, I see, because you see your other I mean? numbers are because, all right yeah. um, up to there. Yeah, okay. do you with right. me? Yeah, we do. Right, so that's in sync, and then we've got all hell of a cut, right? So, so what I should do is put a mark. Yeah, but that's what I'm trying to work. <laughs> okay, so if I make a mark here, see, I think I have to make it. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm gonna go that side. That's right. Okay. Let me see. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh no, that's all right. Yeah. Okay, and then you know that you're taking it over from that yeah. side. And so only when you got to the fine cut would the editor want the trim bin here. Initially, he just want his rack yeah, you just hand it. with the yeah. with the the film, you know, and, and Dawn would mark, yeah. you know, sequence two yeah. or something like that, and it would be those ten shots you used incorporating to put it over the top here, didn't you? The ten top. slates yeah. with perhaps incorporating fifty shots. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah, but yes. that's what you did initially. I would sit behind Oliver. Um, I had a high stool. We always had high stools, didn't oh, we? Oh, yes, I tried. Yes. So I'd sit behind you on a high stool, yeah. and Oliver would be cutting away, and he'd hold out a trim like that, and, and as, as an assistant, you had exactly 10 seconds to take that trim. 10 seconds. If you didn't take that trim in 10 seconds, you Preferably it on the 7 floor, seconds. Which, if you were working on oh, it, I know. Row, I did. You used to drop it. Yes, you no, did. did. You did, Oliver. 
So if you dropped it on the floor, if it was ectochrome, um, that was it. That was it. You could never use it again because that was actual film that was going to be transmitted. So you always used to have to keep one eye on Oliver whilst trying to do the other jobs as well. Take them off. I do not, Oliver.